I work as an outsourcing program manager and that role primarily is a function within Intel that supports um, our supply base and so procurement and managing of our suppliers. Intel does business with so many different companies and we want to ensure the proper quality um, and so I work as a um, uh, part of that team in global sourcing and procurement. As an engineer, I work with other engineers all day. I don't necessarily design anything, um, but we have to. Un I have to understand the bill of materials that we're responsible for, the manufacturing processes that we're electing our suppliers to utilize, um, how packaging changes to our product impact impact those lines, um, and so I need to have the foundation, the technical foundation, to make decisions on: Are we paying the right cost? Um, is this process good for our for um, the end result that uh, marketing is looking for? So we're supporting a number of things that necessarily aren't specifically technical, but you have to have an understanding to be able to do your job. I actually went through our on-campus recruiting, and they had a really good support system. I went to a smaller university, and I utilized the resources there. I met with um, the company while they were on campus. I had an interview on site and a couple follow-up phone screens, and then I was uh, offered a position. So I really utilized the career services that were there. I made a point after each internship to follow up what I we had a like a what did you like about your internship? What didn't you? And so. I utilized that um, and it always helped me. So um, I was also really good at networking and so my parents had always said, you know, make sure you follow up with people, thank them after the fact and I did that and actually it benefited me tremendously. And I keep in touch with the HR person that gave me my first job still today. I hear from her all the time. So and I haven't worked there in, you know, almost eight years. <laughs> I think as a young engineer in school, finishing school, you're really focused on, you have a specific problem that is laid out for you and you have to come up with a specific solution and there's like a clear right answer in undergrad, right? When you get into the real world and work as an engineer, you spend half your time actually figuring out what the problem is and I think that was kind of an aha moment for me to say, look, no one's going to tell you what the problem is, there's clearly a problem and someone needs to fix it but identifying the solution is half the effort. And that was um, a, a pretty significant change in my mindset um, from someone with no experience to someone working as a full-time engineer. When I came out of undergrad, I worked as a process engineer. And I really did enjoy that work at that time. But when I started learning more about that process, I realized that a lot of the things that I was implementing in my technical department or on my manufacturing lines were a result of decisions that were driven from marketing departments or business units and I really wanted to understand why are they making a decision that costs me so much money to implement when there's nothing really technically wrong with our product. There wasn't a quality impact and so the consumer driven decisions really impacted the manufacturing and I thought I need to understand this better. So I decided to, after several years of working as a process engineer, to go get my MBA and uh, understand better the decisions people were making. Consumers have uh, had a nicer experience pulling a plastic bag from a roll of plastic bags as opposed to a stack of plastic bags. And we had to redesign all of our manufacturing lines to account for, it, for that process. And so, um, the bags come off a manufacturing line and they were all folded and neatly stacked. Well, we had to come up with a process just to cut the bags, um, but they would just be perforated and they would go onto a roll. And then how are you going to deal with that? How are you going to insert that into the box to get to the end consumer? It was a very, um, a very different process. You started from scratch, essentially, and so um, we, had, we just installed new equipment um, to take into account how consumers prefer to, to purchase their trash bags. Thank you.
first I should say that because I had an engineering background paired with a business background, I had a ton of opportunities. I was getting job offers in marketing. I was getting job offers to lead a production department, a very technical department, um, health and safety. So my technical background and my business background, I every offer that I have was very different. And so um, based on that, I went to a career fair because I still wasn't sure. None of those offers seemed to click. You know, they were in good locations no, near my family, but I wasn't really excited. And I went um, to Nishimba, which is a career fair for Hispanic MBAs, and I had a 30-minute interview with Intel. My background fit really well with a position they were looking to hire for. And um, after 30 minutes of telling them what I'd done as uh, intern, summer internships, um, and as an engineer, and what they were looking to do, I, I had a, a job offer after 30 minutes. So um, it was pretty, pretty intense to know that all the work that I'd done for engineering, pairing it with no experience in business was going to give me this excellent opportunity.